Your sign, as you wanna remove them from you, but they are stamp on you for life long. Suddenly the door opened and Jungkook entered inside. His eyes widened when he saw all the bruises on your body and quickly grabbed you by your shoulder. Jungkook, what happened to you? Who did this? You quickly cover yourself with a shirt. Why? It's nothing. Just my childhood bruises, cause of chicken pox. Jungkook, what kind of lie is that? Tell me how you got this. Tell me I'm not that dumb, accepting them as chicken pox marks. Ryan, please don't ask me anything. Jungkook sighed as you are not listening to him, so he decided to be strict. Jungkook, tell me, or I will send you back to your home and cancel the marriage. Ryan, uh, as you wish. Jungkook, I am asking you last time who did this, or I am gonna ask your father. He said and start going out, but you grab his hand. Vine, it's of no use. Jungkook, what do you mean by that? Vine, if you go and ask my father, it will be my death day. He turned to you, still confused. What do you mean? Jungkook, don't make things hard for me to understand. Please tell me, I can help you. Vine, my father was the one who see this play with so much enjoyment. Every day, so no use of asking. Let the thing go as they are. Chunko realized that you was abused by your family. He hugged you, making you shock. Van, what are you doing? Chunko, don't say anything. I know everything now. No one will harm you again. I won't let anyone touch you ever again. Van, but but why? Not like we know each other well. Why are you being this kind to me? I don't deserve it. If it all illusion, please tell me. Don't give me false hope, please. Jungkook, touch your cheek and stay still in cold voice. Jungkook, don't worry. From now, I want to know everything from starting. Will you tell me? Why? Even if I tell you, what will you do? Jungkook, you don't need to know that. Go in your room and rest. Don't make me repeat myself. And if I see you working again, it won't be good for you. Understood? Vine, uh, okay, Jungkook. I will send Granny Joy to take care of you. Just rest. Vine, I will be fine. I can take care of myself. Jungkook glared at you, then he dragged you inside the room. He sat to you on bed and said, Jungkook, if you move from bed, then I will put burning coal on floor so you won't be able to get up. He said coldly and left from there. You slowly lay on bed. And smile. Then you fall asleep. At evening, when you come down, you see Jungkook was not there. Sir so didn't eat either, and keep waiting for him. Food was served on table, but you didn't touch it. Soon Jungkook arrived and saw you sleeping on dining table. He smiled and sat beside you. Jungkook, one, wake up. You slowly open your eyes and saw him so close to you. You gasp and move back, but then you was. About to fall, but he caught you by your waist, made nearby by peeking from behind the wall and gossiping about your boy relationship. As soon as Jungkook fake cough, they all laughed. When Jungkook removed his hand from you, you sit back properly by keep looking down. Jungkook, you should not get scared easily. Why? Uh, I'm sorry. Jungkook, I didn't ask you to apologize and tell me why didn't you eat your food. Van, well, because you were not home, so how can I eat before you? Jungkook, what do you mean? Are you living in old era? Not right. Now eat fast. You slowly nod and serve food for him and for yourself. Then you both start eating. Jungkook, did you visit your mom's grave? Van, I didn't. I thought it will be good if you go with me. But you were busy, so I didn't tell you, Jungkook. Would you like to go the day after tomorrow? As I have very important work to handle. Van, all right. Thanks a lot, Jungkook. You didn't make food today. Van, the last time when I made food, you thought I had put poison in it. So I thought you doubt me. That's why, Jungkook. I'm sorry for that day, but I would like to have the food you make. Van, really? Then I will make food every day for you. Next day at Vine House, 
Jungkook arrived at your house, making your parents shocked. Ever didn't expect him to come over. Why, and father, ma, Mr. John, you here suddenly? Jungkook, why, you didn't like my presence? Why, and father, no, no, I didn't mean it, but I'm just amazed. Jungkook, you must be thinking why a busy person like me come in your house. So let me tell you, I'm cutting ties with your family, and from now, the shares you had invested in my company will be given to you. Van father, what the, what are you talking about? Are you saying that you are breaking the marriage too? It will be huge loss for you too. Your father says, shouting at Jungkook, but when Jungkook clear at him, he gets silent. Jungkook, I will not break the marriage with Van, but she won't come here ever again. In her life, Van mom, what are you talking about? Did that illiterate has teach you this? Jungkook, miss, don't you dare to talk about my wife. With that dirty tongue of yours, you are no one for her nor me. Your stepmom rolled her eyes in disbelief. Van mom, you are accepting a huge loss just cause of that idiot. Jungkook burst out at your stepmom as she keep bad mouthing about you. Jungkook, I know everything what you had done with that poor girl. If you say one more word about her, I will burn your whole career. And leave you at road. Why, and father, ma, Mr. John, please don't get mad. She is a silly lady. Don't mind her. Please think twice more before cutting ties. Jungkook, I had made my decision. Goodbye, late father in law. Saying this, Jungkook left from there. Here you were in your room making muffler for Jungkook, on which you had been working since long. You complete it and start thinking whether Jungkook will like it or not. Soon Jungkook knocked on the door and then went inside and saw you stretching your both hands toward him, handing him a muffler. Jungkook, is it for me? Why? Yeah, I made it for you. Jungkook smiled and wear it for you. Jungkook, so how it look on me? Why? You are looking good. Jungkook, so now should we go to your mom's grave? To take blessing before our marriage. Why? Huh? You, you will marry me. You accept it. Jungkook, yeah, why not? You are a right match for me. Van, oh, I didn't know that. By the way, we were going to my mother's crib tomorrow. Why did you suddenly change your mind? Jungkook, I am free, so why not today? Now get ready, I will be waiting. Van, but, but what I will wear outside? Jungkook, you didn't bought clothes last time with Granny Choi. Why, no, I thought it was just a waste of money. Jungkook sighed and then left. He come back with a bag in his hand. Why, what is it? Jungkook, here I dress for you. I thought of giving this to you on wedding day, but take it now. Why, now, but you just said it was for marriage day. Jungkook, I will buy more for you. Just go and wear it. I will wait for you downstairs. He nodded as an obedient child and left. Now you both were at your mom's grave. You saw how dirty it had got, as no one has visited, not even you, as you was not allowed to go out from your house since your dad married your stepmom. Tears rolled down from your eyes, just start removing dust from your mom's grave with your hands while crying. And on the other side, Jungkook was looking at you with sadness in his eyes. One, mom, I miss you so much. Sorry, I couldn't come. Earlier, I'm so sorry. Jungkook hands you a handkerchief, letting you wipe the dust. He hugged your mom grave. Jungkook, calm down, please don't cry much. Van, please don't stop me today. Jungkook sighed and note he sat on ground. Keep tapping your bag. Soon you calm down and clean your mom grave properly and place flower on it. Then you look at Jungkook who smile at you. Van, thanks a lot for bringing me here. It's mean everything for me. You say and hug him, making him shock. But then he pats your back lightly. Jungkook, now let me introduce myself to my mother-in-law. You smile and nod. Then Jungkook sit beside you in front of grave. Jungkook, I know I'm not the best, but I will try the best for our daughter. Mom, please bless us. Jungkook, take out the ring in front of you. Why? Uh, is it for me? Jungkook, yes. As a gift for you. Van, you have done so much for me. I can't believe that I caught you in my life. 
You smile and touch your cheek, making you smile too. Jungkook, no, I am blessed to have you in my life. He placed the ring in your finger. Jungkook, let's stay together forever. I won't be boring. You chuckle at his words. Jungkook, all I want to see you is smile. It's the gift I want all day, remember? It now, should we go? You nod and then you both left.